the Impossible Burger invades Chicago. How does the idea of sinking your teeth into a burger made from 100% plant material sound? If you've ever eaten veggie burgers in the past, then the thought alone of revisiting such a nightmare has to send shivers down your spine. But don't fear, there's a new plant-based burger on the market, and it's called the Impossible Burger, and it very well could change the way the iconic hamburger is eaten forever. So let's discover the top 10 untold truths of the Impossible Burger. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. The Impossible Burger contains absolutely no meat. This is psycho beef. Anyone who has ever eaten an Impossible Burger can't believe the fact that there's no meat whatsoever inside it. The shape and texture of the patty itself closely resemble meat. It contains things such as both wheat and potato protein for texture. The fat in the burger comes from soybean and coconut oil. Konjac and xanthan work as binding agents to keep all of the burger intact. No one can say that the Impossible Burger isn't processed food. It's highly processed, but of all natural ingredients. Still, it is a processed piece of food that some people will shy away from because of that. Though most people who stop in their favorite fast food restaurants rarely care if their gut bomb of a meal has been made in a laboratory or has come straight from the farm. And there's an old saying on the farm, if it doesn't scare the cows, who cares? The chicken nugget you crave has been put through a process that probably makes the Impossible Burger look like farm-to-table dining. There is no way to make a meatless burger that isn't highly processed. Anything that comes from nature is not going to look anything close to meat. This shouldn't be too much of a concern for those who are eating a meal at a fast food restaurant. After all, almost everything on the sandwich is highly processed. Did you know the onions on a McDonald's cheeseburger are dried and reconstituted? So even the vegetables at these fine establishments are processed to the hilt. What about the so-called cheese on cheeseburgers? Let's not even talk about that. Well, I can picture the cheese, but, uh... It has as much protein as meat. Say... Say... What? what? Meat eaters always wonder how vegetarians get enough protein. The common mistake many people make is thinking that meat is the only thing on planet Earth that contains protein. Which is amazing, because why aren't you dead from protein deficiency? The fact of the matter is, there's plenty of sources of protein out in Mother Nature. Beans, nuts, and seeds are full of protein, as are other plant-based foods as well. If you're worried about your meatless burger lacking in protein, then don't. It has as much protein as the burgers that you've been enjoying that mood before being put on a bun. I am relieved. The Impossible Burger is also chock full of iron. <laughs> How ironic. How many times did you sit down to a meal of liver as a child because your mom said it was rich in iron? Never. It looks like something else is also a great source of iron, and it's these meatless burgers. It's all because of something called heme, and it's what gives the burger its meaty taste. That craving for meat you might feel is usually just a craving for the iron and protein found in meat, and that craving is fulfilled by the heme molecule. If you're low on iron, you may want to skip the liver and have yourself one of these impossible burgers. It'll definitely taste better. It tastes so good. I think I'd like to try it a second time. It oozes like real beef. That's not true! That's improbable! Anyone who has ever cooked a hamburger knows how it reacts to the heat. The same thing happens when an Impossible Burger is cooked. It too has fat that oozes out from it. You may be surprised to learn that there is even something that looks like blood that comes out of the burger too. Don't worry, it's not actual blood. What is the stuff that's seeping out of the burger while it's being cooked? Let me guess, Klingon butt wine. It's that heme stuff again. The same stuff that's filled with iron is also what makes the burger look like it's bleeding. If you were wondering what the fat coming out is, it's coconut oil. They made sure to think of everything when it comes to making sure the burger fries up just like one made from meat. The importance of the ooze factor is more than just eye candy for the person cooking the burger. The way the fat dissipates from the burger itself is a vital factor in the overall eating experience. The makers of the Impossible Burger have done this to mimic how ground beef feels when you're eating it. A good burger is juicy, and the juices from the meat go throughout your mouth while chewing it. Some of that flavor comes from fat that's inside the meat itself. If the burger didn't have the fat, then it wouldn't be possible to come across as anything at all like real beef. While it may be healthier to have a fat-free burger, it wouldn't taste good, and selling it would be next to impossible. Uh, really? What? Hi! 
This meatless burger requires much less water. Animal farming is using an amount of water that could fill San Francisco Bay every day. We've all heard about the droughts in places like California and the impact they have on the farming industry as a whole. Did you know that it takes about 1,800 gallons of water to produce one pound of beef? That's an incredible amount of water for places that have had issues with a lack of rainfall. Each pound of Incredible Burger requires about 75% less water than beef. Climate change is going to wreak all kinds of havoc on the amounts of rainfall areas receive. It won't be uncommon for wet, lush areas to soon become dry as a bone. People need to eat regardless of the weather conditions, and alternatives that require less water are going to be required. <laughs> nah, we came back to sue you all for completely ruining the planet. Water isn't the only concern, as there are other environmental issues as well with the production of meat. Man's desire for meat has caused a series of problems that have been poorly addressed. It also requires much less land to produce a product such as the Impossible Burger compared to raising cattle. Those who care about the planet will want meatless alternatives to their favorite foods in hopes of lessening their environmental impact and carbon footprint. Doing something as small as eating less meat can have a significant effect on the environment if it's something we all do together. If I can change, and you can change, everybody can change! Meatless alternatives may be safer. Is it safe? Is what safe? It seems every year there is a restaurant in the news dealing with foodborne illnesses. There are a whole host of contamination issues when it comes to meat. Using meatless alternatives can be one way to avoid some foodborne illnesses. There will always be a risk of getting sick no matter if the burgers are meatless or not. Cleanliness is a massive concern of any kitchen, regardless if it's inside a restaurant or a home. But there are specific pathogens when it comes to meat, and also health concerns when it comes to the slaughter of animals. There are also no worries about hormones or antibiotics since the burger itself is made from vegetable matter. Consumers are beginning to shy away from meats that have been given medication in one form or another. Ooh, I think there was something funny in that hippie. Antibiotic-resistant superbugs are one of the many reasons behind people wanting to switch away from meat where the animals were given antibiotics. Time will tell if it's safer to eat meat substitutes produced this way compared with actual meat. Anything from a living, breathing animal can bring with it a multitude of sicknesses. You've probably heard quite a bit about swine flu over the years. That doesn't mean that highly processed foods don't contain any risk. The entire process from start to finish can be a potential landmine of hazards when producing entirely fake food. There's the risk of foodborne illnesses from uncleanliness, and also the risk of debris and foreign objects getting into the product as well. But it's still less risky overall. Besides, I ain't afraid of cancer. I had broccoli for lunch. The Impossible Burger contains no cholesterol. Don't you worry about cholesterol, lung cancer, love handles? What's the one thing that everyone worries about when eating at a fast food restaurant? It's not whether or not they offer free refills on your favorite soda pop. Everyone is always concerned with the amount of artery-clogging cholesterol in the food. You may be surprised to find out that the Impossible Burger has no cholesterol in it at all. No means zero. That's right, you won't have to worry about your ticker when it comes to eating this burger. Though you should be a little wary for other reasons. I'm talking, of course about man bear pig. You may be surprised to learn that the Impossible Burger is high in carbohydrates and fat. It has more saturated fat than beef and more sodium as well. The fat primarily comes from the coconut oil that's used to make the patty fatty like a regular burger. The sodium is increased for flavor and presentation. No one should consider the Impossible Burger super healthy food. Just because there's no meat in the patty doesn't mean that it's necessarily great for you. But is it a healthier alternative to a beef burger? Yes, thanks to it having no cholesterol, unlike red meat. When it comes to the chicken of America, I prefer the white meat to the dark. Bill Gates has invested in the company. Okay, this is something you really like to eat. Hamburgers. Yes, that Bill Gates. He's the co-founder of Microsoft. That guy has a ton of money, and he just plopped down $75 million to invest in the company behind the Impossible Burger. It should be noted that it is believed that they've raised $300 million so far with a series of rounds of investing. There isn't much known about the other people who have invested in the the company as of yet. A level of secrecy has surrounded the company since its very conception. Bill, Peter's an antitrust lawyer with the Justice Department. 
There is a multitude of reasons behind it, and it's probably due to the enormous amount of technology behind making a product such as this. In some ways, Bill Gates is a perfect match considering that he has always been on the cutting edge of technology. Bill Gates in recent years has turned his attention to solving many of the world's biggest problems. He's tackled the environment and issues with clean water and the foundation ran by him and his wife. It's not too surprising that he would want to take a giant leap in an eco-friendly endeavor that could feed people nutritious meat alternatives while also being easier on the environment than raising animals. The legacy he wants to leave is apparent, and by investing in companies such as this one, he's helping move the world in the direction where positive change is possible. So here's the question. What will you do with it? Snag an impossible burger at White Castle. All right, everybody, strap in. We're going to White Castle. Has all this talk about the Impossible Burger made you want one? If so, then you should head to your local White Castle. You already love their little sliders that you can eat a whole sack full of. Let's just be honest and say those sandwiches are some of the tastiest treats in the world of fast food. You only feel guilty about eating them when you're looking at the bottom of the bag. That's when you realize that all those little sandwiches add up. They are a great snack if you can somehow order anything less than a whole bag of them. What if you can enjoy the White Castle sliders you know and love without the meat. You can do just that by ordering one of the meatless varieties. The real fun is ordering a regular slider and an Impossible Burger slider. Try both of them and see which one you think is best. Could you end up liking the meatless version more than your old time favorite? There's only one way to find out, and that's to order one. Answer received, enlightenment achieved. You should be aware that the sandwiches are about twice the size of the typical slider found at White Castle. That means you have two times the enjoyment if you like the sandwich. White Castle is the first of many fast food restaurants that will end up having the Impossible Burger on their menu. That in itself will be good news if you find out that you like the meatless burger. It's also good news if you're a recently converted vegetarian who has a craving for meat. Go ahead and give one of these sliders a try. They may satisfy your desires for flesh. If they do, then you'll be extra glad when other fast food joints follow course and offer their own burgers made without the meat. You know what's so good about it? It's how unremarkable it is. There's more than just burgers coming down the pike. In fact, the cow is not even trying anymore. Don't be surprised when you start to see the impossible burger and products that aren't burgers. That doesn't make sense. Does it? Well, it does if you think about what the Impossible Burger is. It's a replacement for ground beef. There are all kinds of fast food items that contain ground beef. Did a certain fast food chain that rings your bell with spicy goodness come to mind? If so, then you get the drift. Other restaurants that don't serve burgers are testing out this meat alternative. Tacos, chili, and salads are just a few of the things you should expect to see this meat substitute in. Come home to Simple Rick. Any food items that contain ground beef could technically be replaced with Impossible Burger. Who knows? You may even see it someday soon crumbled up on top of a pizza. The sky's the limit when it comes to what can be done with something as versatile as a replacement for ground beef. The fast food industry as a whole is always looking for something new to entice people to come into their restaurants. If they feel the Impossible Burger will do that, then it will be on their menus. You won't find the Impossible Burger at any grocery stores. You can look, but you're not going to find it anywhere. However, it's said that the Impossible Burger may be sold in the not-so-distant future in supermarkets. As of now, the Impossible Burger can only be found at restaurants. Some of the reasoning behind that may be supply chain issues. The company behind this marvelous creation is still relatively new, and they no doubt have problems with being able to roll out their product on a massive scale. If the Impossible Burger is a hit at your local burger hotspot, then it's likely it'll be on a grocery store shelf near you sometime soon. This message which will self-destruct in five seconds. You can always find more great Babbletop videos right here. Just tap on that screen. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, what are you waiting for? Show us some love and slam that subscribe button and click that bell.